Yo, yo, Rengoli is here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing on your space. We're gonna jump back into this. Um, last time uh, we left off, left off with a lot of information. Uh, spent the majority of the episode just talking and just kind of gathering a bunch of information. Learned that the uh, beginning of the game there where the convoy blew up was because of rust lords which are i guess deities some sort of kind of like the creators of the universe because they created universes um they created the universe that we're in and uh or i guess civilizations i should say sorry not universe uh civilizations um and these beings i guess live for eternity and they kind of get bored after a while so they just kind of make make and destroy civilizations over and over again so that's kind of what we're dealing with right now um apparently there was a huge war back in the day and there's only three um of the rust lords left um and they control the government government i guess you could say the whatever over overstating body that oversees the entire universe or kind of maybe civilized space um and they kind of control that called the consortium um and no one i guess really realizes that it's it's them three running it it's kind of running like proxy with with other other things the they can shape shift into whatever they want even though they're the size of fucking planets um i guess they can shape shift into like a regular like what a human would look like so kind of crazy um and right now after that we traveled and i'm trying to find a guy named lorne lorne saved us from um from the navy before um i'm not too sure who he really is yeah he's just a part of this war i guess um just trying to save the universe i guess because the rust lords i guess eventually it doesn't seem like it right now but eventually they're gonna they i guess they get bored and destroy the universe so we're gonna try and kill the rust lords i guess is kind of the goal moving forward here I don't have any kind of active missions. This is a very old mission that I never did. Um, we are still majorly messed up with reputation here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, kind of forget what was the next kind of thing here. I don't know if, I think I'm probably supposed to go to the bar right now, to be honest, and talk to Lauren or wait for Lauren. I think that's the, uh, situation right now. So where are we? Plastic jump hole, they'll shoot badlands, and the Kepler base. What system are we in? Oh yeah, they're like way over here. The Mandrarier. The names of these fucking places, man. Okay. Let's go to the bar, see what's up. Probably talk to this guy, Bell the Marin. Ah, the infamous Cardoz Speakerson. Your wanted posters make you look taller. I float. Ah, don't we all? Carrion told me that you're looking to meet up with a contact in Terra. That's not a nice place. Big washer system. And the unions locked it up tight, too. Patrols pretty much everywhere, on every entrance. 
The good news is that you're inside. Once you're inside, it's empty. They even put one Valdwin carrier, the Hermandred, I think, on a different patrol path. Still, if you're trying to get through via common trade routes, you're going to run into axe heads left and right. Are there other ways into Terra? There are a few, but as I said, the Union is watching them like crazy. If you think you're good enough to run a Union blockade, more power to you. But me? I like it the easy way. You've got a jump hole in New Germandre, and that'll be your straightest possible shot. Newly stabilized, too, so the Union doesn't know about it. Otherwise, you'd have to sneak into the jump holes elsewhere. Still, your choice. I'll mark the jump hole's coordinates just in case. Thanks. Hey, anyone who makes the Union sweat bullets is a friend of the choir. Sing along of and proud, Cardoz Speakerson. Okay, so he just straight up gave us a jump hole. Like, is this a fucking, like, alien inside that? I can't uh, think that's, like, what I'm l to believe. Is, like, there's an alien inside that. It's not a robot. It's, like, there's an alien. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. Is this carrion? Good luck, Cardoz. I'm not sure what to wait to you, but it sounds like you're going to be, you're up to facing it. Okay. Nice and big, empty bar. I can talk to this guy as well. Who's this? Garius Vermeeren. Ah, Carta Speakerson, was it? If you're not too busy, the choir could use your help. What do you need, choir boy? See, that? That's a little harsh right there. I've got a good job that needs doing, and not enough people to do it. Really? That's the whole problem. The choir it just isn't one. No real identity yet. No real sense of anything. We banded together a lot of smaller smuggling syndicates to try and make our mark in this world. And nobody pays any attention to us. Not even internally. My brother, Bell, can talk about high ideals and whatever he wants, but I don't think he understands... That if we want to make it as a real syndicate, we need to start taking risks and hitting bigger targets. The Agricultural Guild is a lot armor depot scattered through the region. It's filled with food, supplies, and terraforming equipment, all extremely valuable to the right buyers. If a willing third party is, just happens to bust some of them open and deliver their supplies to us, we could easily smuggle those out. I generate capital, we'll sorely need. Are you up for the job? Okay. I'm wondering if I should do some yeah. I need I need some money. Um buy better guns and buy better equipment. Like I, I haven't really had the time to do anything yet to make money. I might just do this. All right, put me where you need to go. There are four depots I've scouted out. Prime targets for piracy and fencing. I mark them. You break them open and deliver the goods back here. I'll pay you handsomely for all the four bushels of loot. But only all four, understand? A cruelly sold song. Breach the terror system. Now, I'm wondering if I have enough cargo space in my fighter for this. Probably not, right? I wouldn't really want to mess this up. Kind of sucks. I feel like I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to need to, like, bring a freighter along with me. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna just try with my fighter for now. So I'm probably making a mistake, but we are going to do this mission. Set is active quest. 
Um, do we have anything we need? Just rearming some missiles. We're gonna launch. Hopefully this pays out well. So far, like, some of these, like, I've only been getting, like, pretty shit pay recently. Find and destroy four grain depots in Baldwin Space. Use your journal and your nav map grid to find grain depot. Let's take a look here. Um, Mandre jump pole. Region D3. What the hell? What happened? Why can't I see everything else? What happened? What happened to my map? Yo, what happened to my map? Awesome, right as I fucking want to do something, my map fucks up. What the hell, man? Great. <sighs> this game sometimes. What the hell, man? Um, I don't even know how I change freaking camera view. Backslash. Why isn't my map working properly? What the hell, man? This is retarded. Why is my map not working? This sucks. I don't know why it wasn't working properly. Well, hopefully we try that again and it works. Like, I don't know, like... Did I press a button that I didn't realize? Like, what the hell? See? What the heck? Why why did that disappear last time? That's so weird. So D4. D4. Docking ports in sight. Thank Cross that all went well. This is Quayer. Blue eleven two. I need to dock. Hard out speaker soon. A pleasant surprise to be sure. Oldest straight. Have we met before? Indirectly. I was rather impressed with the design of Spolton Train Yard. Too few can appreciate a good docking crane these days. What is this? Try carefully in the solar states. Master Speakerson. Far too much has gone wrong in the past few years, no? Where did this come from? You could just fix it. I could. But men shouldn't look to the stars for the solutions to their problem. Should they? I think there's something worthy about you, Master Speakerson. We'll speak again. In the meantime, you can always follow me online. Old Astratic. Who the frickin' hell is that?
I don't know how well some of these missions are gonna go when I'm like hostile with freaking everybody. So like I can't use the jump gates, essentially. I need to like 99k old Esther. Estrade. Was that one of the Rust Lords? I'm so confused. Just gonna kind of head above the map a little bit. Maybe if we get a little bit more distance away from like the uh, jump gates, we can just kind of stay in Abyssal Drive. Hmm. Old Asterdrin was the sun. That's the sun. We were talking to the sun? What the fuck? Yo. This is weird. What the fuck? This game is weird. Got like freaking aqueducts and shit in space. Or, like gates or some shit. We're actually making pretty good distance here. I'm just gonna avoid the jump gates. We're just gonna go over to d4 and see what's up kind of over there that's kind of where it said as long as we're in the mandre system that's where we're supposed to be right there was kind of two things called the mandre though orble chundadale and petrick lost my uh, abyssal drive too close to planet really wish it gave you some sort of radar on that just kind of got to stay above the plane I think I'm heading in the right direction yeah Oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna tilt down. I think we might be a little, I think it might be over here a bit. I wonder if it's that ship. Find and destroy four grain depot in Balden space. That's more like a station, not a depot. Or a battleship, not a depot. What is this? Missile, glaive, Balden armed forces. So we're gonna stay away from that. So I am. Oops. Not in D4. D4 is still over here. I'm not even close. So there's gold. I want to head towards the gold, to be honest. Red and green. Heading toward a deep. Ah. 
map again. D4. So we're in D4. Rain Depot. I do not see. What's this? Shipyard, jump gate. Like, I'm still wondering if I'm even in the right freaking system, to be honest. Because there's another system next to this that's called the same thing. New Jumanji. Am I crazy? Huh. Raid and loot four automated grain silos located throughout Alden space. I can find them in Demandre, Orble, and Petrick. D3, Irish. Jeez Louise. Okay, so it might be that ship right there. Let's try to scan again. Or maybe it's the green thing. Kind of exiting D3 here. Rough, dude. Stop. Streaming pile of evil points of interest, such as lost jump gates or ancient ruins. Jump points, red pulses indicate wreck. White pulses indicate stations or planet. We're looking for a station? For some reason, I keep forgetting where I'm supposed to go. D3, not... Not C. I'm so confused. I'm gonna set new waypoint F. D. What the heck? What the heck? How do I... Stop this. Probably that right there. I've just been silly and not really paying attention to it. Okay. I think we found it, finally. Took 
frickin' forever, but I think I got it. The only other problem, though, is I don't know where these other frickin' star systems are. And I don't even know if I can get to them, so this might even be a... Might be a big waste of time, to be honest. I think it's this right here. Kind of looks like something that could be considered a silo. Drop warehouse. Tells me I do not have enough cargo space. Delicious foodstuffs, too. Or maybe I don't need to pick anything up. Okay, I'm gonna. Take a look at my map. New de Mandre, Bostic, Vermon, Yasta, Renimat, Nadre, Terra, Baton, Mega Alpha, Omega Alpha, Guerrera, Moncrees, Adrix. Where are these other ones? Genies, Chipstar, Marowit. Yeah, so like. These systems. Horrible, Chunkendale, Petrick. I don't even know where those are. I don't even see them on my freaking galaxy map. Are they in a different galaxy? I don't know if that's even a thing I need to think about because, like, I can't even. Interesting. Okay. Um. Well, that was fun. I'm probably just going to move on to the other mission at this point because I don't think I really want to. Try and figure this out. Damn it. Okay. Well. Until next time. Where are we going? Something tells me I'm not going to be allowed in the jump. We're just going to set path in that direction. I'm assuming like when you see the lines on the screen there, that's kind of like the jump gates. You can kind of see where the, like the, the plane of existence is, I guess. It's kind of what that indicates. Or like the like the mean median plane. If you're not above it or below it. <clears throat> Rental ship. What the hell is that? 
I'm gonna check this out. I think I just blow this up and uh, loot it. Or just hit it a couple times. Rust Lord Artifacts 15. A thousand a piece. Twelve hundred a piece. I think these are illegal as well. If I get caught with these. I mean, doo doo. Did I mess up? I think I messed up. Damn it. Yeah, I think I just turned myself around. I think I'm moving in the right direction. And it can be a little difficult to, uh,. Move around the map here. Okay, so I need to turn. Turn this way. I'm just gonna fly up a little bit, try to get above this, the the uh, regular plane. Let's get above it a little bit. Probably gonna get knocked out of the abyssal drive. I think we're headed in the right direction though. Yeah. Is it that right there? Shit. Okay. We are in the A. Somewhat of an asteroid field. It's almost like a freaking mountain field. A who sat salt belt? Is that salt belt? Alright. New Demandre jump hole. Here we go. So it's pointing us towards jump gate. Not necessarily. Oh, shit. Mayday, mayday. This is civilian transport BHT 3113. I am under attack and need help. I'm sending my coordinates to all ships in range, please. Counter turbon. Do I care? Turbon under attack. I'm taking on Star Chaser. Alpha one dash one. You're not a bright sun, are you? Get them off of me. Okay. Oh, I can help. Silence, heretic. Interesting. Under fire, taking evasive action. So now I have some voice dialogue. I've got him right where I want. Where is this coming from? Got him. Weapons prime. Enemy on the scope. Yeah, where is this voice coming from? Is that me? in my sights. Damn, man. I got him right where I want him. 
burn. Got him. I got him right where I want him. Weapons prime. Enemy on scope. Here we go. Squad mate down. Okay, so it's the Bright Suns who are talking. Burke. Why am I allowed to hear them? Seems weird. Thought I was a goner. Thanks to stars, you showed up. Why were they attacking you? Oh well, you know how buried sons are. Insane religious monsters. It's always some slight with them. I might have been hunting them too. I thought a transport would be armored enough. Guess it's bigger target. A oh, whole. Well. I just help this guy with his fucking bounty. Uh, where are my manners? Counter Turban, Falden, DCA, Cardas Speakerson. You're uh, an accountant. Junior level only, but yes, I'm a courier. Not trying to be tough though. It's all behind me. I uh want to be an adventurer. You gave up a desk job and decided to go hunt religious pirates. Look, Mr. Speakerson, when you say it like that, it just sounds, well, I don't know. I'm unqualified, but it sounds like you're out of your depth, buddy. Then what should I do? And don't tell me to go home and be a space bean counter. I'm done with that. Life is, uh, that life is, uh, behind me. It sounds like you need someone to show you the ropes. Like a Star Chasing Academy? I believe those cost, and I'll be honest, uh... I spent all most of my... I mean, I could help you out. I'm a star chaser. You're a star? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? I mean, well, you did take the, uh... I mean, you took down the bright sign. Are you really offering to teach me? Let's just say I have a soft spot for people who need a career change. Well, thank you then. Thank you, Mr. Speakerson. Thank you. Just call me Cardoz. Oh well. Thank you, Cardoz. I need to repair my ship a bit more. When everything's working again, I'll contact you. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now a squad mate. Mister. Uh, sorry, old accounting habit. Cardoz. If that offers to be taken on as your protege, I'm still on the table. I'm more than happy to learn from you, uh, if you don't mind. Oh, I thought you were going to go away for a sec. Interesting. So is he just going to tag along with me? No. Okay. Let's uh, head back to... Set his active quest. Where do I need to go? The Terra jump hole, I'm assuming. I'm not going to take the jump gates here. I need to go to my right. My left, I'm sorry. Switching to engage. Start oh, shit.
Let's get above the plane a bit. There we go. Eventually, yeah, turn a little bit here, probably there. We should be good. Okay, well, we got a squad mate. I wonder what the hell that means. I've pressed a button before by accident, and it said, like, no squad mate. So I wonder if I can just call upon him and, like, what, he just shows up and helps? Kind of what it seems like. Also, like, if I was to, like, maybe run freight, I could call upon him to... I don't know. The freighters seem good enough to fight in anyways. Like, they don't really seem to, like, be really all that bad. Like, they carry the same guns, so it's like you can defend yourself fairly well with, with just a freighter. Not much different than a fighter. Other than maybe it's a little slower. Whoa. Whoa. We know where you're going, Cardoz. Aurelian. You must be Aurelian. I'm surprised you even talked to me. We also know you spoke to the Master. So let's drop the pretenses and just talk. Rustler to Vault. Okay. You want something, or are you just going to taunt me? He's using you. You ought to know that, right? All of this, your involvement, it's all just because Lauren can't deal with the facts. He let his supposed comrades die just to recruit you. You're just a pawn to him. And I'm not a pawn to you? I didn't even know you existed until a criminal warlord showed me. Understand that our existence, my plans, they're delicate. We only reveal ourselves to those who we could feel we could be useful. Once again, pawn. And when conveys stumbles across you... Oh shit, I didn't read that. That was an accident. A convoy, probably. He's talking about his convoy probably blowing up. That ruined my life. So now what? You'll just sign up with a half-dead terrorist fighting the Union by yourself? Yeah, sounds about right. If I have to. And if you prove we exist, take us down, then what? You think suddenly you'll be a hero, let back into the Union? Uh, yeah, probably. Lawrence's perspective on things has always been skewed. Whatever either of you hope to achieve with this war, it's pointless. And at best, you're a vehicle for his misplaced sense of vengeance. You locked countless others away. You murdered and tried to murder high-profile figures. Damn, I can't read that fast. Things like Ascana's deaths were unfortunate inevitabilities. Even if we didn't see eye to eye, I wouldn't have had her killed if I had any other choice. It sounds to me more like you were cleaning loose ends, taking care of people who weren't in your pocket. Nobody is in our pocket, Cardoz. People align with our interests for common good. Even if some, like Lorn, can't take the truth. But most people do. Your ancestor, the speaker, certainly did. And what are your interests? Loyalty gets rewarded. Come back to the Union, turn yourself in, and I'll tell you of our interests. We already promised to tell you everything once. Yeah, like, I'm supposed to fucking believe that. We could clear your name of every crime you've committed, protect you, legally. Nah, dude. Crimes you've committed, you mean. More than that, we could give you everything you have ever wanted. We are rustlords, Cardos. We possess technologies and abilities nobody even understands for millions, perhaps billions of years. We could make you normal. What would you say? An 09? 
Dude, these fucking numbers. I do not know what they mean. Loyalty gets rewarded. I know you, Cardoz. And loyalty brings back people in my convoy that you killed. One day you'll see the bigger picture. And you're not going to... And if you're not dead, I'll be waiting. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Gonna jump to Terra. I think that was like the leader of the Brust Lords, kind of seems like it. Reaching Lauren, quest completed. Deep Space Terra System. It has been some time, Cardoz. Are you finally going to tell me what this is all about? I will. I think it's long overdue. You know about the Rust Lords? I do now. The master told me. That's good. Saves me an exclamation. Now meet me at these coordinates. Explanation. We have a lot to talk about. Damn, there's been a lot of freaking dialogue in this last little bit here. It's like two hours of fucking dialogue. Gives me some answers, I guess. This ship is like crazy man like having a face on the front of your ship it's so weird this game has a lot of weird things associated with it It's been a long road to reach you, Cardoz. My friends are gone. Their lives given up. For you. I still don't understand these Rust Lords. You? How does it all fit? These are the, they are the Consortium. They control the Union. Direct every bit of civilization. Why don't you just leave it on the screen? They turned on you just for talking to me. They tur murdered your convoy and framed you. They're a vile power hungry bastards who answers to themselves and themselves alone. I know what they're capable of. What they've done because I've worked for them. I did their bidding, I gave them research, my life, everything. What the hell? And when I dared speak up my voice, my concerns, when I dared put a single cell out of line. I end up on the other side of this gate, trapped in hyperspace for centuries. Don't tell me you have doubts about their existence, not when I have suffered so much at their hands. Because I need your help. You've seen what they do, what they're willing to do. To keep themselves fat and happy. 
I need to start chasing. A combatant with the skill and guts to help me in their control of the Union. And their control of the Union. I thought the speaker would still be alive, but I underestimated the amount of time that had passed. But you'll do. Oh, thanks. Shucks. Really not a compliment. I want to kill them, Cardoz Speakerson. And with your help, we will retrieve a weapon capable of doing so. That's my offer and my plan. Step with me through the gate and make this galaxy's masters their own fate once again. Are you in? And make this galaxy masters of the fate they're in. I knew I made the right choice. Pretty sure I said it. Let's go. Is it safe? The gate? No. But I can keep you safe. Passing through it. Dock with the Rust Lord gate. Be ready. And doozy the first time. As I'm sure you know. Yeah, so there's a lot of lot of things going on here. A lot of shit just happened all at once in terms of like lore. Did I mess up? Oh no. Times Highway Hyperspeed. What the fuck? Damn, man. Well, what do you think? What the fuck, dude? It's beautiful. Stunning. Gorgeous, even. And completely dead. This is my hyperspace. Once the grand highway of the Rustler conducts every corner of the vast universe, stretching empire via one enormous, incredible network. Not even the gate builders were able to break this far into the hyper rank lair took nigh godlike abilities and time to build, let alone stabilize, and only the Rust Lords were, for a time, the ones able to figure out how to get in and out. Save for my desperate men, these lanes and tunnels have been empty for billions of years. Well, except for that bastard, but we were never able to get it out to slow down. This is my home for centuries. My prison. Our prison. What actually between you and the consortium? It started between me and the decimal. He endorsed them, supported them. He and Aurelian both seemed to think along similar lines him the atrocities that they had committed and their reasons were irrelevant as so long as the union remained strong i had i had a difference of opinion i thought otherwise 
believe that those that need power needed to be better. My mistake was expressing it to them directly. The rustlers saw me as an insubordinate, but too potentially useful to just disappear. They threw me in here and locked the gate. Time and space are odd. You don't age, but you can slowly and inevitably starve. That's what happened to me. For decades, I sat, my cells slowly dying out as I tried to shunt power to my ship, keep myself alive, conscious. But with each death, I could feel my mind, my body, myself slipping away. This cell, piloting the ship, is all that's left of the original me. Everything else I had to industrialize. All the fighters you fought were, in essence, myself, my consciousness, and it spread across several thousand automated ships. So he's the triangle? Okay. I don't even know what happened if a last control cell dies. How did you escape? I didn't. I languished here, slowly dying under hyper brink blows. When all but one of my cells had died, they found me. The others had thrown me in here. My desperate. They had used their talents to build a small microcosm of civilization in a way for us to eke out a pitiful existence. They nursed me back to health and built the Tri-Fighters to replace those lost cells, and all while, we pulled our genius together and plan. The Desperate Men. Each of them had experts in their respective fields, but with me, with my skill, and all space transpatial manipulation, we were able to unlock the Rust Lord's gates from the other side. From there, we pillaged what we could, and slowly built up our army, prepared me, planned our assault. It didn't work. I had my own friends for centuries, and the Union killed them in not even a year. Oh shit. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. Whatever I've suffered, it'll be worth it. Come on now, we're not too far out. You'll see. Exit note. So Lauren is a ship, not like, it's just like, Kind of confused. So they're not a being, they're like a ship. A part of a ship. They were once a being, but now they're not. I don't know. And he was what was controlling the Tri Fighters at the beginning there that were attacking us. Hmm. are here. After you, Speakerson. Hi. And this is... A safe exit note. Stabler than jumping in and out. It connects directly to a gate on the other side. The other side of what? Take it and see.
Why can't I get through it? What the hell? Okay. So where are we going? We raided the outer sectors of this system for years, building up our resources and armies as much as we could. Truth be told, the Rustlers never gave their homeworld a name. We called it Mentalarium, the birthplace of the oldest race in existence. It's a graveyard. It's the oldest graveyard in existence. Ascension's a bitch, eh? Or, I guess, it's not anything. If you can be the most powerful race in the universe, but still eventually, even that'll run its course. Even makes me wonder if this would be a fate of every civilization. This is why I wanted you here, Cardas, or rather why I wanted the speaker. Our aim was always to kill the consortium. Kill Aurelium, but But you can't kill Rustlords. Exactly. Nothing made in our galaxy would scratch them. Only weapons forged by Rust Lords can kill Rust Lords. We managed to get what we could from the scrap and derricks from the outer layers, as I said, but looting the planet, even the graves, it was impossible. Not while that still existed. Not till while what still existed. Who dis? The Rustler's cosmic suicide had rules, surprisingly. The body's dead and the effects. Pretty sure what that said. That thing made sure that the rules are obeyed. I give my last cell to get any under control in his prime, but age and solar radiation have reduced it to little more than a deranged storm right. A storm right. Which is why I need a star chaser. Okay. You want me to kill a ship that was built to kill Rust Lords? It lacks the power it once did. A hundred billion years orbiting irradiated stars will do that to you. But yes, it's ridiculously dangerous. The speaker could have handled it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But without it, we can reach the outer world. With it, we have no chance against the Rust Lords. We could fight the Union, even beat it them, but... All the weapons in the galaxy, even forward cannon, orbital ion beam, wouldn't do anything. Not to Aurelian. You'll be on your own for this speaker soon. I don't have the speed to outrun that monster. I said I'll do it. I've made it this far, haven't I? Alright. As soon as you approach the fields, it'll come after you. But, I've seen you fly. I know you can do it. Once it's dead, use this. Was I supposed to stay by him? What's this? Think of it like a flare. A hypospatial nature. Use it to call me when need be. What did he give me? Wonder if I uh, messed that up because I wasn't close enough.
All right, well, let's just head towards the Gravekeeper. Kind of like a fucking Grim Reaper type ship deal thing. Used to kill Rust Lords, but I want to destroy it for some reason. Still don't really understand why. Beat the Gravekeeper. Gotcha. One point five million. Okay. There's something special I gotta do. Nope. Just shoot at it. This might take a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck are those? It's moving. Shit. Do I have... Yeah, I have countermeasures. I got this. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh shit. Hasn't done any hull damage yet, so that's good. Just every once in a while, loosen up some countermeasures. Countermeasures. Let the missiles hit the countermeasures. Almost halfway. I want to stick close to it, kind of like if it's going to be uh, shooting shit at me. I wonder if I stay close to it if that. Uh, Kinda helps me or not. Definitely see it shooting missiles at me. Seven fifty shit. Kinda getting knocked around inside of it. Kind of reorientate ourselves. It's down halfway. Let's drop some countermeasures, evade some missiles. Not too bad, not too bad. Make sure I'm actually aiming at it. This thing moves fast. Let's 
Slowly but surely. Come on, 450 left. That's all I got. I'm out of missiles. Kind of keep a couple countermeasures on the go every now and then. 360. Come on. Almost there. Huh? Almost there. Made it attack itself there. Three, come on, almost two hundred. Almost dead. Almost dead. Here we go. Come on, 1500, we're almost there. You did, bitch, you did. Here we go, here we go. 30k. We almost got him. Boom, bitch. Gravekeeper dead. Boom. Use the flare signal for Lorne. What is that? I don't know what the flare say. Anything I can pick up? Lauren's flare. Sensing. Okay. Shit. You look like him, and you fight like him. You sure are not your speaker? You're both star chasers beyond what I've ever seen. It comes naturally. You've got to Mal's blood in you, that's for sure. Come on and lock. I'm not sure your ship could survive the planet fall. Where do I dock? I just kind of like run into it or something. Ah. 
Okay, are we gonna finally see what Lauren is? It's probably like a computer or something. Come to the bridge. We'll make Planetfall soon. I can't land this behemoth, but I can use it to scour the home world surface. Meet Lauren in the bridge. What is that skull? Warp to bar. Equipment dealer, cargo trader, ship dealer. Um, fine shooting, Cardoz. With its guard dog gone. Ah, oh, shit. You're welcome to look outside the course. Pressing. Nothing empty ruins. Salvage picked away a dog. I think you look at the planet. That could kill rest lords. Plenty of people looted the planet in the past. Don't think the luxury of their stealth ship my size couldn't sneak through. No weapons needed. Was never homeworld in the first place. So it's a dead end. Give me one second. There's still something useful that we need. Kind of moves a little too quickly. We to retrieve the sort of weapon, it's merely a key, unlike some key to unlocking this weapon. Correct in a way, we need to head back to Prof now and range once we'll I'll explain the part there. We just explain it now. I could, but truth be told, I only get a chance to see and look at your face when I realize what I'm doing. It'll be magnificent. Okay. What do you mean, want me to do in the meantime? Get your ship fixed up, check out on the amenities, get some rest. Might be the most luxurious ship. Could be some booze somewhere in the cupboard, somewhere too. Find booze anywhere else. Either way, what you need to do when you get some rest, journey ahead of us. We have a long journey ahead of us. Try cannon times three or times one. Yeah. I really wish you could slow the dialogue down. I really, really, really wish you could, but it's just not. This is a secondary ship production module. I'm not able to produce fighters as well as... Well, it wasn't what this ship was built for. Anyways, I can't give you one of my fighters. They don't even have the basic life support system installed. I can use this to help manage any ships you have, though. Sneaking into the Union's extra-dimensional storage protocols was easy. You invented them, didn't you? I was the project lead, obviously. Can't hide the keys in the church from the high priest and all. Alright. Alright. So it's just a garage, essentially. <laughs> Sell what I have. Me and my compatriots often use this ship as a central base of operations. These quarters were set aside to give us peace and space, plane and rest. I've worked in hypronics, I need a food or drink, but all I've got is alcohol and sort of beer I brew from the ancient wheat. That's fine. I like beer. Really? The speakerson couldn't stand is it. Always wanted was a misky man. I'm not the speaker. Of course.
This is my primary manufacturer. I can't say my weapons are top of the line, but they do have universal compatibility. I also recycle any equipment that's taking up space, but I can't promise a full, re full return of anything. Do you have to have that face in here? It's a bit unnerving. I have to see what I'm doing, if I'm doing any work, Cardoz. Right. So he gave me tri cannons, which are class 9. They fire at 5 per second. Drain 360 per shot. That's a freaking massive amount of drainage. Um, okay, so we will swap out. Unequip this. Unequip this. Pop these two tri cannons in. Oh, shit. Well, that sucked. I accidentally sold one. Put the other one, so I guess I'm just gonna have to... It only costs 150. Just 1100 hull damage. 250, or 280. Compared to 400, but the dad like the uh, amount of energy drain is crazy. I'm just gonna leave off one. I'm gonna equip this one and sell this guy. Okay. Gonna restock the ship. And I guess we just talk to uh, Lauren again. Move on. Damn. Well, I'm actually gonna call it there. Um, seems like a good place to break it, and the next time we will, uh, continue on and dealing with this, uh, shit with Lorne. Uh, if you liked what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe, it'd really help my channel a lot. Uh, until next time. Peace.